Deborah, we're at the we're at the premier 250 Sensation right now. It's uh, also noted the RF, which means it does have rear facing loungers in the back. And of course, everybody's talking about Tritunes, Lake of the Ozarks. And we like to think the premiers are right there at uh, the top of the line of the premier of the pontoons and Tritunes out there. Well, you know, I like what you're talking about with the rear facing lounger because we've all spent more time looking out the back of a boat usually than in front of it. And especially since your Tritune lines, they tend to be more family boats. Right. And you're usually on a, a skier or a wakeboarder. The other thing I love about the Tritunes these days is they are now sport boats as well. You can have a great time on a wakeboard or ski skiing sure, to try to. Sure, well, and that's really what's coming along now. You know, and I've been into business a few years, and, and what I really see now is you're getting more high powered outboards, which mean these tritunes are going to be able to pull, you know, one, two skiers, even wakeboard, like you said, and, and it really, and to compete with a V bottom boat. It's really, I mean, a, a multi purpose. And as we all get a little older and the family grows, yeah. And they bring on, you know, their grand, their kids. You got grandkids and everything. It really, there's plenty of room here. There's plenty of space to stretch out. And really, people are using tritunes more than they ever did on Lake of the Ozarks, as opposed to a V-bottom boat. And so the Premier line is just fantastic. It's got the patented PTX PTX hull, which is the the way that pontoons are designed themselves. And I would suggest to anybody that is looking for a pontoon, to what you need to do is take a look how the boats are built right. because there are different levels of quality yes. and I mean but there's also different levels in the budget too if you look around here the bimini tops uh -huh. you know they're 11 feet 13 feet in some cases on a premier so you get plenty of coverage to keep you out of that harsh sun well and of course the other thing with an outboard you don't have to winterize it that's exactly right you know i i live in one of the condos uh, about the 21 mile marker on the lake you know and and it's great to see in january oh, yeah. every now and then a pontoon go by on a nice day you know so it's, it's pretty cool and i would be that boat owner because i would never winterize my boat because we have some beautiful days in sure. the middle winter and right. you want to get out on the water right you know and it's really easy i mean you just drop the lift fire it up and go it's it's no prep at all and that's what's great people don't realize you put this on the on the lift as it goes up it self drains it winterizes basically itself yeah. now i would suggest though if you do uh leave the boat for like you know you're going to leave it three or four months and you know you're not going to use it have a tech go out there and kind of service right. it just to take a look at it and make sure it just makes your spring start up a lot more fun don't take it for granted you want to be able to turn the key in the spring and get out on the water right that's exactly right yeah Tim, so we came over to look at this crown line. I have to admit, I might be in love. This is an amazing boat. Totally new design, and, and there's actually a couple manufacturers out there. And again, I you know welcome the competition to Lake of the Ozarks because this is an overall 31-foot boat with twin 250 Mercury outboards on it, and it has walk-through transom with the seating in the back that boasts it's uh, um, electric, you know, and everything. We're, we're out of the, the days of the carpet in the boat, so we don't have that. We got nice seagrass flooring, right. plenty of seating all around here, enclosed head, and here's the joystick control also. Yes, and, and you know, just a tremendous asset, the joystick. What an sure. invention when they started using the joystick. It really control. is. Stand behind there and see what I've, you know, noticing more and more ladies are driving their boats yes. now. Yeah. And I, it's a great deal because that opens my market up 50%. It does. You know, <laughs> Honestly, when they did open up, when they did develop the joystick parking, I think even for a lot of male boaters who are tentative about it, but let's face it, you pull into a water venue at the lake and uh -huh. you're, you're docking that puppy in front of a lot of people. That's a great client. And it saved many people an embarrassing moment once they started utilizing the joystick. Sure, yeah. And the technology today, and it's not just in Mercury, but all the, you know, the manufacturers of the engines, stern drives and outboards have that technology uh -huh. now. It does, right, you know, it's a little higher. It costs a little bit, but I tell you, if you're going to be boating a lot of Lake of the Ozarks and trying to find a parking space on a Saturday oh, yeah. at one of the hot spots, and you don't, like you said, you don't want to look like a boat nerd. One thing at all about boats, we do take time. Our delivery captain will take you through your boat, whether it's a new, used, pre-owned, brokered, however it is, and make sure you're well aware of how the boat functions and how to drive it and all of its attributes. So you just... You know. And that's advice from a boating expert, someone who's been yeah, in the business for exactly, years, regardless yeah. of who you buy your boat from. Yeah. Make sure they take the time to right, run you through right. it. Yeah, I right. see too many people in the, you know, they come down the lake, they rush and they buy a condo and they rush and they buy a boat and they might buy a used boat for a friend, but then they, wait a minute, I don't even know how to check the oil on this right, thing, you exactly. know, so. But, and, you know, and of course, you guys, you do, do service as well. Full service, yeah. We're at the end of Passover Road, and you just follow us all the way in. You go through a little uh, roundabout down there, right. and we're right there. You can't miss a giant sign all about boats. Our business, 54 location. We're in Osage Beach, kind of cat a corner across Wendy's, Taco yeah. Bell there. So come by and see us. Mm -hmm.